Do Kentuckians know the armadillos are taking a hike eastward? Let's go find out. Where would you go to find an armadillo? Like in the wild? Yeah. Probably Texas. Okay. Where would you go to find an armadillo? The zoo? Where would you go to find an armadillo? The highway. All of these answers are actually correct. The nine-banded armadillo, a popular exhibit at zoos and found native to the southern United States, is moving steadily northeast. It's found all the way in Tennessee and Kentucky. But why is it moving here? James Tolman, a biologist in Kansas, suggests that they're moving here for two reasons. One being that their food source, fire ants, are also moving to the north. And two, that they used to not be able to survive the harsher winters, but because of global warming, the winters are becoming more mild and they're able to survive. But what does this mean for Kentucky? A fear of armadillos is common because they're one of the two species that can contract and host leprosy, the other one being humans. So the fear is reasonable. Although it's possible to get leprosy from armadillos, it's quite rare. Madan Ali, a wildlife biologist who has studied armadillos for numerous years, says that less than 30% of armadillos actually have leprosy. And once they get it, it tends to kill them. So they're not out spreading it as much as we assumed. Herpetologist John McGregor says that aside from leprosy, they don't seem to be doing much harm. They might just dig up a few lawns and gardens looking for grubs and other insects to eat. If you want to find an armadillo in Kentucky, I'd suggest hitting the highway. That's where they're most likely to be found, as roadkill. I know it's kind of morbid, but it's true. It's because of their defense mechanisms. Armadillos, when they get startled, tend to jump two to three feet in the air. That results in them getting hit by the cars, whereas usually the car would just pass over them, they're jumping in the way. So, I hate to say it, but if you want to find an armadillo, they're going to be on the side of the road. So if you see an armadillo, what do you do? I'd advise you to stay back. Take pictures from a distance if you want, but definitely don't touch it. And if you do, wash your hands well afterwards. If you find an armadillo on your property, there are expert armadillo trappers that you can call that will come and safely remove the nuisance. If you suspect that you have armadillos living on your property, look for large tunnels in your lawn, cracked concrete or foundations from burrowing, and three to five inch holes all around your yard. That's like the size of a tennis ball to a grapefruit. Now, this isn't to scare you. Armadillos aren't a violent species that you should be afraid of. It's just a good reminder to keep wildlife wild.